Good day, sir. I am Casey Anik Dao of PSN2, and today I am going to perform the two tests, which are Benedict test to check for the presence of sugar in the urine, and the acetic acid test to check if there are presence of albumin in the urine of our patient. Let's proceed. First, if, of course, with the client and introduce yourself. Hi, ma'am. I am Casey Anik Dao, your student nurse from La Consolacion University, Philippines. The rationale for doing this is to establish rapport. Next is explain the procedure to client. Explaining the procedure to client gives awareness to them on what we are doing. Next is for our urine specimen, instruct the client to urinate and place it in a clean container. As you can see, we have already our urine sample or urine specimen from our patient. And before doing the procedure, make sure what, that we wash our hands using the soap and water and wipe it to dry using our towel. This is to prevent the spread of infections from the healthcare providers to the client. And I am also wearing gloves to add extra protection from the microorganisms or from the infections. I am also wearing an apron. This is to protect our uniform or the student nurse uniform. And Let's proceed in performing. By the way, we need to pull out all the necessary materials first from our OB bag to have them readily accessible when we are doing the procedure. Our materials are alcohol lamp and measuring cup, the Benedict solution, acetic acid solution, our matchsticks, kidney basin, test tube holder, two test tubes, and droppers. Let's start. Um, performing, performing this is to give patients comfort, security, and hasten the recovery. And of course, first is lighten our alcohol lamp using our matchsticks. Make sure that we have a proper receptacle for our waste. is get the test tube and test tube holder let's start for the benedict's test this is our urine specimen using dropper add 1 ml of urine specimen to our test tube Then after that, hit the solution. Make sure that our solution is away from us, away from our patient, and away from the healthcare provider. Hit it, hit for about three to five minutes, and observe for the changing of colors of the solution. If the solution turns blue, it means there are no traces of sugar in the urine. And if it turns green or yellow, it means there are traces in the patient's urine. And if it turns orange or red, it means there are moderate sugar presence in the urine of the patient. And if it 
patterns brick red it means there are large amount of sugar present in our patient's urine which can lead to gestational diabetes from the lamp as you can see this is the result it turns blue which means the patient is negative there are no traces of sugar present in the urine patient let's proceed to the acetic acid test same procedure get the test tube Fill the test tube for about and acidic testing, document the findings and discuss it to our patient. Uh, Ma'am, our, in our Benedict test, it turns blue which means you are negative from the presence of sugar in your urine. There are no possible gestational diabetes. And for the acidic acid testing, you are also negative from albinonuria which means there are no 